Well, hey out there, fans, friends, feds, and frenemies. It's me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm here today with Stranded Alien Dawn. Uh, now, Stranded Alien Dawn is a community management, survival, crafting, building, alien bug planet game um, from uh, Frontier Foundry, and it's produced by Hamimont. Hamimont uh, developed the Tropico series, uh, Grand Ages Rome, and uh, Surviving Mars. They're, they're veteran developers. This game's been out for about a year. It just hit its 1.0 like uh, a week ago. And this is episode number two. We're, uh, we're playing as uh, sort of my, my classic foursome, um, Grayson, Paulette, Talis, and Vanessa. Uh, you can watch episode one if you want to get to know a little bit more about those characters and their unique quirks. And uh, we left off... Um, expanding uh, our first sort of defensive perimeter um, this is it's it's a lot more like rimworld than going medieval going medieval the attacks are fairly staggered um, in this the threats are fairly constant um, and and ever present so I'm, I'm gonna need to get them to cut trees and build these walls up ASAP that's a major priority I'm probably gonna clear this section of forest here first um, I think that makes sense that is going to take me a, a hot minute to remember all of the controls. Uh, the controls are very different from going medieval, um, but I'll do fine. I'll do fine. And we're going to have crops coming up, our grain cobs, and our, uh, we'll call them magic mushrooms, or glitter caps. They're, they're magical mushrooms. They're a uh, healing item of our glitter caps coming up. I'm going to need to build some storage as well. Um, we don't have any climate-controlled storage. Lack of food. Yeah, I guess they are kind of low on food. Certainly there's no uh, no raw food in the stockpile, but that's that's fine. They'll get it. They'll, they'll get there. Um, I'm also going to have someone move the uh, tables here. Uh, how the turns of tables. Let's put it in that corner there. Now, unlike going medieval again, your communities don't get very big in this, I think, you know six characters or something is, is usually like the upper cap in late game. Um, although again, I don't know if that's changed now that there's um, the new military outpost uh, gameplay modes that looks interesting. You, I think you start with six characters uh, loaded for bear. So, all right. So he's going to, he's going to do a little construction work on the fence there. Things like where uh, where different construction items are uh, on the okay. I'll put the tower there as well to protect the gate uh, on the actual quick bar here. Uh, you know, finding the towers. So I need to move that table so that uh, Good, he'll move them all. All right. We have one day's worth of food left, it says. They're not eating 14 food in a day, are they? 14 cooked meals? Jeez. Okay, as soon as he grabs that last chair. Oh, he went to sleep before finishing. Whatever. I'll let him sleep. If you see the uh, the screen jerking back and forth like this, um, the Q and E rotate keys are the exact opposite um, from the way they work in Going Medieval. So it's just it's counterintuitive, but uh, you know I'm sure I'm sure there's an invert Q and E option, or I can I can configure that. But if I get frustrated, I will. Okay. This is actually a really temporary enclosure anyway. I probably should have made it a little smaller, but I wanted to encompass the shiny rocks over here. I can mine these out, I guess, too. Get some metal production going. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, good. Paulette's right on harvesting. They, they, they seem to have their priorities in order. This isn't requiring... All right, is it Q or E? It's E. <laughs> uh, they seem to be um, completing their tasks without um, requiring much intervention from me, and that's a good thing. I will, I will want to get them taming, um, but I think we're going to wait until the next season to do that. I may move this... Uh, no, I don't want to reconstruct. Oh, I can't copy the animal shed or move the animal shed once it's built. Interesting. Okay, so that's a permanent structure there. I guess it wasn't very expensive, so I can sort of decommission it. I want it along the edge here, but we'll, we'll wait until we get the final dimensions. I'm going to build my housing uh, and primary defensive position up here um, on the cliff edge. It'll give us, like I said in the first episode, the most, the longest time to live as stuff runs up the the uh, the slopes potentially getting shot from above and then has to loop all the way around and come through the gate and work its way back up and there's the, you know there'll be traps and guns and all oh, that reminds me I should probably trap my fields um, one of the let's say quirks of uh, I told not just single row for now um, yeah one of the quirks of this game is the uh, charismatic megafauna will breach your fence. Um, the batter their way through the fence, especially as winter approaches when there's less, um, you know, out here right now, there's actually not so much, but maybe over, it's, yeah, season for it. Yeah, over here, there's there's naturally occurring food. So these guys will eat that naturally occurring food, and then when it runs out and all the grass is dead and, and the snows are coming, um, if you've got any crops left in your field, they'll batter their way through the fence and attempt to take your crops um, which is, it, it's an interesting survival mechanic. Again, like, you don't see that too often in games where you're in competition with uh, nature for your own resources. I guess RimWorld has that kind of, um, although to a lesser extent. And RimWorld also, I think the primary threat to your cop is actually, uh, crop, crops, cop. The primary threat to your crops is uh, banditry who will set your crops ablaze. Um, and that's not a thing. There's no, there's no humanoid bandits in this game, as far as I, as far as I know. I wish there were, to be honest. That would be that would be sweet if this had to... And even if they would take the other community members who you didn't pick, because there's like there's like 25 or 30 community members now. Um, they've added a couple uh, military-focused community members too. If they would take the other community members and like fuck them up a little bit and turn them into to raiders who attack you, um, that would be pretty awesome. I know there's aliens that shoot shoot poison out of their butts and stuff, but there aren't really, um, you know, there aren't really shootouts per se. Like, you don't, you don't get in an exchange of, uh, range, ranged combat, the same way you do in RimWorld anyway. Um, I'm also going to do a video later today. Um, <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, I'm, I'm working on a review, but I might just do a let's play to introduce the game. Um, Silica. It is awesome. Um, think like, Dune meets Command and Conquer meets Star Siege Tribes meets Planet Side meets oh god uh, Starcraft meets um, Warhammer 40k it's a it's a lot it's really cool um, okay my meat is gonna rot can't really be avoided But yeah, I'm going to do a Silica uh, Let's Play, or uh, and, and definitely a review video. I'm, I've been working pretty doggedly on that. That's it's one of the coolest concepts. Weird mixed RTS, FPS, bug stomp game <laughs> came along. Uh, totally out of blue, too. Totally out of blue. It's from Bohemia. Um, it's a Bohemia incubator, so it's a solo dev project. I'm, I'm stoked to show you that anyway, folks. Okay, they're, they're, getting, they're getting the wood wall done, I think. That'll turn out fine. Should probably scatter some towers along there. Um, at fairly equidistant intervals. I'll click there.
I guess I will need to put towers all the way around, so even on this side. And the top is that it just creates a weak point if you don't, right? And you need you need the defensive capability in case the enemies come up the other side and try to get through the wall. Could also chuck down a wooden fan. Oh, okay, heat wave. Crops grow slowly and start losing health. All right, well. I think things... There's no food today. Oh, there's no food because I haven't... <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's make... Grain porridge or... Vegetable soup. I guess we're making grain porridge until we have 50. Oh, Vanessa's doing the cooking. Okay. I'm going to put another storage shelf in here for the time being. Yeah, it's kind of kind of maximized my... Oh, we get two grain porridge per... Alright, that's cool. Some folks are eating now. Good, I don't want them to starve to death. That would suck. I feel like I got worse at this game in the intervening weeks since I played it last, and before that I hadn't played it for months, so I don't I don't really know what's going on. On the topic of Frontier Punk games, uh, what's it called? Uh, Oregon Trail is uh, on sale right now. Uh, 18 bucks. I might, I might get that. That's an, that's an oldie but a goodie. Um, it's totally remastered and apparently woke up too. They, uh, they really uh, added indigenous representation and stuff, which is, you know, uh, kind of important. If you remake Oregon Trail, you kind of got to acknowledge that the land is like stolen, right? And like, um, yeah, people lived on it before the Europeans came and. You know, those people might have been misrepresented in the original game. Just a, just a little bit, just a teensy tiny bit. Um, not with, like, malice per se, but with, like, some pre-existing established cultural prejudice under underwriting the, underwriting the writing. Um, okay. We've got a lot of stored food. We've got some cooked food now. Once we get these vegetables in, we'll be good to go. I do I do need to create another indoor area, though, for storage. I think... It's going, to, it's going to be important. Hmm. I guess I have to research construction to create the better... Um, yeah, I should be doing this. Oil extraction definitely should be making vegetable oil. That way we can make bread. We should be pickling. Damn, I really, yeah, I need to... And then construction basics and then tailoring. And then, uh, uh, you know what, let's... Yeah, tailoring and then hay cloth. We'll do it in that order. Okay, Talos is going to start researching. These are going to decay on me if I leave them out any longer. You know what, let's... I'm starting to get an idea here. Just deconstruct these and turn this into uh, full-fledged storage interior. Okay. 
Okay. I mean, 1485 wood. So, seems to me like uh, wood cutting ought to be a big priority, big old priority right now. Okay. Pull at his heat stroke. That's that's no good. It can kill her. I'm sure the I'm sure the heat wave will end before she dies, right? Let's check her. Her happiness is low, her health is still high. She got moderate heat stroke, her consciousness is low. Hmm. Oh, and I that's why I, I have nothing earmarked to cut right now, so that's why nothing's being cut. Start clearing this rise here. Okay. I'm going to research pickling. Which means I can build an oil press. I wonder if I can place it in this corner. No, that would be that would be too goddamn convenient now, wouldn't it? Put the oil press there for now. And a couple fermentation barrels made of woods. Uh, I'll just put them on either side of the lightning rod. That'll allow us to pickle our vegetables for the winter, which will increase the shelf life. That's just being smart. Just just being smart. Okay. And select from the other side. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, it's super annoying. There we go. Select by this damn trunk. Okay, and he's finishing up the walls there. That's great. Okay, knock that off. Go do something else. Okay, we've got food. Some. We've got some food. We don't have storage. Our gourds are about to come up here, the buttermelons. Yep, just uh, just passing time here. Just passing time here. Hmm. 
I'm worried we're going to get another bug attack. Might as well clear that ridge line too. They'll get to it today. Yeah, if we if we get a large or challenging insect attack, it's going to be hard to defend this position. Okay. Let's take Grayson and Talus off the cutting. And ask if can cut an extra five hundred. This is tobacco here. I could probably study that, but that's that's, that's really a second year enterprise growing tobacco. I need to replant the grain cob too. We'll get another crop in. Okay, and we got a couple towers up too. That's great. I feel like there's something I'm forgetting. It's definitely I need to, I need to make clothes. Um, Talus is going to need to go do. So he's, yeah, he's researching construction basics right now. That's that's good. Um, we'll get a proper house laid down, probably with like a stone foundation. Well, there's no available storage, eh? Some dogs having a fight outside here. Not that a building, my windows are open. It's it's getting warm this season. Well, that's new news. I got a I got a new job. I got a new job, folks. That's uh, that's exciting. It's been uh, and I've been hinting that there's been something going on, and it's been um, an incredible an incredible job hunt. Um, it's actually a pay reduction, but it's a way better job, uh, much cooler, and uh, will come with a higher pay eventually. Um, certainly more uh, useful career experience. Um, all I will say is um, so long, uh, Mr. Plow, and uh, hello, Groundskeeper Willie. Okay. It's all coming together.
Great. Hmm. I'm going to put a couple of meat lures there. And traps along the, uh, the front wall there. The community members won't walk through that, so... Research is not going well. What what is Talus assigned to? This is primary activity. Uh, hunting, observing, researching. It's Grayson who's actually a researcher. Ah, okay. Grayson is assigned to construction. All that should start harvesting those uh, gourds, or we'll never. Uh, how do I do that again? It's not schedule. It is activities, and yeah, let's put her to harvest one, craft three, cook two. Outstanding. Did you hear the one about the, uh, the farmer who won the Nobel Peace Prize. He was outstanding in his field. I'm I'm I'm, I'm not a dad, so I, I don't think I get to crack dad jokes. Okay, three towers left. I'm gonna have him finish those first. Way more of a priority. Might as well learn what these are. Yeah, I can, I can get a lot of stone in the environment here. I need to figure out what these are too. Tube plants. Oh, there we go. There's bugs. Okay. Damn. Damn, they like the game knew the game knew it's like, oh he's about to finish his wall. Well we better send the bugs now. Probably could have made everybody work to finish completing those. Maybe I still can. Bugs are getting murked anyway. They ran into some flatheads out here. Oh 
Oh my. Well, that saved me a little trouble, didn't it? Let's explore. Okay, the hot air balloon mission. Starting to get on to the end of summer here. I really need to get clothes happening, but we need this wall done first. And like, it's just order operations on these things. First, I need them to do something other than nothing, which they're doing right now. <laughs> they're all almost all out of food. They eat a lot faster in this than they do in going medieval. I'll say that. Okay. I'm gonna heat wave going on again. Okay. Really just want that fence finished. Those orders are going to supersede other important things. She had nothing. Okay, let's make grace and research. Yeah, that's fine. back and cooking. Actually, I'll put her on delivering for now. To get a bunch of stuff that needs to get off the ground.
sequence. We'll cancel these cut orders for now. Okay. Oh, there's my green. I was like, I thought I built a press. Strong vegetable oil um, until we have. Okay, my wall is done. Traps are done. Meat lure is up. Oh, it, that's what my refuel alert. I get it. Paulette's on a sad wander. Trish will improve when they get food. Okay, we've researched construction basics. That is incredible. Three stone per. Uh, I do have to get somebody mining. That's 60 right there. Yeah, they're overheating, they're unhappy, if they're bickering with each other, my food's going to rot before we get it cooked. Okay, we're getting stone in, so now I can start laying a foundation. So we do need... Okay, I don't want to place it right up against the wall. Let's offset it by... that much. Six, seven... Oof, it uh, rises. Huh. It's interesting. Well, 8 by 7, 9, 10, 12 by 7. How far out can I go before? I can go pretty far, but I only want 10 by 7. Sounds good. Hmm, this has got tall. Slow time down again. I guess maybe I maybe I should start building the Let's 
That's what I don't like about this game. It doesn't give you much opportunity to plan. You wind up with these very generic layouts. And don't take the terrain into consideration because you're just building as you can where you can. Um, it's hard to, hard to explain how that works, but... Hmm. But if I were to build it up here to start, that's real tough. Maybe we should have picked more even ground. I don't know. It'll look, it'll look good in the end, I think, no matter where I built it. Put a house there anyway to start. I don't know why the gate got closed. Oops, that's a doorway, but it's not a door. <clears throat> I 
think it's possible to build a multi-story structure in this, is it? Which theoretically it is, isn't it? Presence of a large window, wooden tower. Don't think it is. No, it's not possible. Interesting. Okay, I could make a leather carpet. We'll we'll figure out the room situation here first. Hmm. I don't know how big the uh Oops. Okay. We've researched tailoring. I guess I'm going to drop the tailor bench at the end of this hall here. Stove against that wall. Fireplace, the chimney. Yep. Toss a research bench there too. Yeah, that, that'll work, I think. They can use both of them at the same time, I hope. Oh, my food is rotted. Well, that's less than goddamn ideal. Oh, no, it's the, uh, these things that are rotting. And you're going back to seed or whatever. That's, it's not great, but I think, I think we'll make it through the, through the winter with what we've got. We might have to do some crazy hunting later if...
Hmm. Oh, damn. Okay. That'll do for now. Actually, that won't do for now. Let me move that. There we go. Okay, that makes the most sense to me as far as design goes. It's a short chimney. <clears throat> Tables in the middle of the room. I can put more shelving over here for storage. Like, uh... figured it. Okay. 
Okay, in order to finish this place, I need to get that mining done. Just tell us. Might as well give Vanessa the help. Delete all the recipes here so she doesn't. So she uses the stove, which is more efficient. Finish this uh, stone floor and the house shortly. I'm starting to get cold, and I don't have the tailor bench built yet, let alone the grain cloth or the uh, the hay cloth. All right, there it is, hay cloth. So. Okay. Well, it's too late in the season to get the grass, so we have got to go pretty far afield to get some here. Damn, that wasn't smart of me. I should have had a field of it planted. How long does it take? Temperature tolerance, minus 10, takes five days. We might, uh, we might get a crop out yet. Let's try to get two crops of, uh, hay. And I'll switch her. See, this is, I'm, I'm not, I'm not as good at this game as I am at going medieval. Like, in terms of the thought process, understanding the, um, workflow, I'm going to make mistakes. And so we need to plant urgently. Uh, don't plant this, please. Okay, now slow time down a little bit before I waste too much time. There's more of this over here, too. So, your next task... Uh, once I'm sure I've brought in enough stone, yeah, I am. Vanessa's going to lay down the rest of the floor here, looks like. Perfect. I think I might actually save this area up here on the high ground as opposed to for defense, which I'm going to concentrate in this compound, um, for my power generation. That makes the most sense to me. It's, uh, it's going to get the best best solar yield. I also have to get salvaging. This is I have not done nearly enough salvaging. There's lots of sweet stuff you get from doing that, but sort of I, I, I rushed um, cloth, really, um, a cloth production capacity and uh, an indoor space first. 
we'll see how that works out. Okay. So who is going to cut? Okay, yeah, Vanessa's stuff is getting old, so we're gonna have to. But we'll we'll get this we'll get this all done in the next two days. Can he get trapped in there? No, smart enough not to. to show roofs. Yeah. Hmm. It's really almost done. Just cutting trees. Damn. Damn. I gave you a very specific order and then forgot to actually specify. Um, I don't know. I want to cancel, I guess. Cancel orders. <laughs> I wanted them to, to go cut the hay grass, but said they started cutting trees, and that's, that's just not ideal. Hey, at least we got a lot of wood now. way to see what the interior temperature is yeah 20 degrees indoors nice okay so this, this space will be livable in the the winter i hope i'm gonna need to uh build an air vent we'll need metal alloys to do that i guess i could just leave the door open now couldn't i oh you can't there's no hmm. it's not like a gate got it can you close a window though? Yeah, you can close a window. Okay, we'll close the window. Leave those two open for now. Okay. Now one of these people is uh crafter. It's gonna be Paulette, yeah. And priorities are going to be warm coats until four. Thermal pants until we have four. Let's make those out of cloth. Okay. Yeah, 
heat wave again. Let's have him make a coat. Let's see, go to Yeds. Interesting. Obstructed access. Uh, ha, 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 would, that would have just been too convenient, eh? Alright, what is this? This is a research bench? I guess I, I don't need it. No cute research. Let's get on the uh, metal refining. Antibiotics. Spaceship construction. Brewing. And leather armor for now. Heat wave. It's really, I mean, it's a heat wave for, for fall, I guess, but the question is that actually, no, coat's not made yet. First thing. Whatever, just, just, just go make it. I don't care. Crafting makes them happy. It's good to know. So just take a little bit of time to make each of these items. It's not too long. It's not, you know, it's comparable to the length of time it takes in doing medieval, I guess. Maybe a little bit faster. What is this? Is this a jacket? Okay. Shelf life is dropping on all my things. My my food is going to spoil. It's stored outdoors. I think it'll probably make it through the winter because it's going to freeze soon. All right. Grayson's having a panic attack. Uh, or about to because he, he didn't eat today. I get that. Okay. Where'd the coat go that he just made? Is it in his inventory somewhere? I don't see it. Okay, did it just disappear? New apparel. Coat. It did disappear, in fact. It did, in fact, just vanish. Oh, it, it stays on the bench. Okay. All right! Grayson's got a coat. Let's check his... So it decreases his heat tolerance, but it increases his cold tolerance. Whereas, you know, Talus' spaceship jacket increases both heat and cold tolerance. Makes sense. Certain garments do certain things. Um, okay, so he needs to make more cloth. Probably should have. Are these ever going to grow? I don't think they're ever going to grow. Okay. 
Okay. Next order of business. Let's put uh, beds for Grayson and Vanessa indoors. This will become their house. And again, having a couple um, saves you a little bit on real estate. You don't have to build three houses. Um, not that I mean, you could all put them in a communal room, but I think I think they do get happier with uh, dedicated rooms. Um, I also don't know if there's like like rim worlds like you can you can have like fine chambers that they really love being in. I expect there are. Um, you know, you build a very large bedroom full of furniture, and it'll be much much happier. Okay. He wants me to explore again. You could just add a double bed. That would be, that would be cool. Rather than having to place two single beds side by side. Okay. Um, well, I think we're ready. We're ready for for fall anyway we're not ready for winter we got to get those uh, those jackets made but we've progressed through uh, another major season um and now we are ready uh to just make clothes and uh cook make clothes and cook those are our priorities um and hunt make clothes cook and hunt we need to get start getting leather so we can make armor um and then i'll make more sophisticated weapons and yeah it's all gonna work out but yeah, that's uh, that's about it for me for now. As in postmodern cowboy playing Stranded Alien Dawn um, from Frontier Forge um, and Hemimont. Thanks so much for watching. If you like watching me play these games, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, if you don't like watching me play these games, or uh, if you think I've made some critical errors in managing my community here, um, please let me know down in the comments and uh, throw me a like, subscribe to my channel. You know all those things. As always, see you in space. <laughs>